I don't know, YouTube. Chrome Freak here. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say, I would film out the front window, especially we got that old church coming Yeah, up I'm going to try to stay out the front window when I can. Let me get that mine real oh, quick. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want to pull up a little bit here, get past these trees. And that nice old home. But look at that old mine over there. And this camera, I wish I had a, brung, a bigger camera I could zoom. But this is just absolutely beautiful. Chowler mine, I guess it's called. I don't know, I'm driving off the damn road because I live here and I, and I cannot get enough of it. Yeah, I mean, guys, just the sights here are just amazing to me. Nothing's flat like where, where I'm from. And look, look at this old building. This was probably City Hall at one time. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> it's the uh, Fourth Ward School. But we're up in uh, Virginia City, which is in the Virginia Highlands. And again, for... Uh, people who aren't familiar with uh, Nevada where I live we are called the Silver State and this was the little mining town that was associated with the Comstock load during the Civil War in the 1850s and 60s a ton of silver puked out of these hills around here they are all pot sharded with uh, with mines deep shaft mining hard rock mining surficial mining even placer mining um, started out mining gold up here and then um, the silver sulfide was discovered but um, People didn't know how to refine it. Silver chloride, easy to refine. Silver sulfide, eh, not so easy to refine. But once they figured out how to refine it, look at the big old church there, that's real nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. Once they figured out how to uh, how to refine it, um, this came alive up here. Uh, billions and billions of dollars of, of silver um, in today's money, and probably back then came out of here. A lot of the, uh, the bullion ended up uh, in the coffers of the United States of America to shore up financing during the Civil War. Uh, that's why Nevada is also known as the Battle Born State. We became a state during the Civil War, and uh, again because the silver was here. The silver, a silver lot of the silver capital. went uh, also went to uh, the Carson City, where they had a mint and was turned into coinage uh, for the Western United States to use in commerce. And this is uh, Main Street, Virginia City. A lot of these buildings are historic; they have not been uh, moved or brought in from other locations. Some of these buildings are I very know. old. I mean, look at the sidewalk, it's wood. It's probably original. I mean, I don't know if it's been replaced, but I imagine that's the way the sidewalks were back then. That is then. the way they looked. Yeah, I mean, just look at these old buildings. This is absolutely gorgeous. And just too cool for school, man. I am loving this. Like Jerry, the roving cub reporter, Jerry. Uh, we'll have some guns here too, guys. Yeah, so hang in, hang in there. <laughs> some nice guns too. Wait till you guys get a load of some of the ones you're gonna see. You're gonna flip. But yeah, this is just to me. This is something else. Look at this, man. Oh, I'd love to go in like an old store like that, man. Oh, we we can. I mean, it's just um. Civil War days. Civil War days up. are coming up. Um, again, you know, like I said, this is what. Uh, Here's Comstock Rock Shop, one of my favorite places. Oh, I'd like to go there. there. That would just yeah. mind boggle you. Yeah. John's a geologist, so when he talks, it's just not, as a tourist, he knows what the hell he's talking about. Bonanza, there it is. Bonanza <laughs> Landing Cattle Company. Yeah, just a bunch of, uh, Bunch of fun shops up here. I mean, they took uh, they took Main Street. It's um, it's touristy. This is really yeah, just uh, I like shopping how... and stuff like that. But uh, you know, a lot of the buildings again are historic. They've been around for a while. Well, that's They're doing different things now. That's what and I then, like. They didn't change it. I like how they kept it the same. I like that. And this blows Mike away here. The the mountains here. Now remember, I talked about just going out and being able to find old mines. Look at yeah. the old mines up on the hillside there. Oh, but try and slow down, and you can always spot them. They're they're in fact. Let me just pull over here. You can always spot them up there because you can see those smooth tailings piles where they puked the material out that was not the ordinary yeah. material, just pushed it out on the side of the hill up there. So whenever you're driving along and you see those tailings piles up there, you know there's a mine shaft up there. And that's one of the fun things about Nevada is a lot of times I go out into the boondogs, we just go mine exploring. I mean, it's just fun. I would love to do that. It is just fun. Guys, if I wasn't, you know, I don't ever complain on video too bad, but I got a bad leg and back and all that and two heart attacks. But if I was physically fit, man, we would just have a blast hiking all over the place. Unfortunately, I can't do that. But we are going four-wheeling. And we'll have um, some nice videos of that and some shooting as well, too. So uh, Absolutely. A lot of shooting, yeah. Anyways, um, we hope the, that was a quick drive-through. Hopefully, we just didn't capture a bunch of automobiles. And <laughs> maybe we got some good stuff for you folks to look at. But, yeah, this is it. This is kind of where I like to hang out. So, uh, good videos, four-wheeling videos, all, all coming up soon.
Guys, just look at this view. All right, we'll go ahead and well, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it on just until we turn the corner here, because I just you got to see this valley or whatever you call it over here. There's a cemetery. He says the most haunted place. One of the most haunted places in the nation is the old cemetery here in Virginia City, and um, it's featured in a number of uh, documentaries and stuff like that. Really cool place. I'd love to go um, there. They literally have to guard it on on All Hallows Night, which of course is Halloween. Yeah. And because uh, so many people want to come up there and hang out. Wow. All right, guys, we'll end this one, and uh, we'll be back with more. See ya.